Hello YouTube, this is PZZ Essing here. Um, I was just wanting to do this video here, just to sort of give you guys an idea of what all you get with a Zippo lighter. Um, I'm sure some people might find this video to be a bit pointless. If you find this video to be a bit pointless, why are you watching it? That's the that's the big thing. Um, anyway, which one am I keeping? I'm actually keeping this one, and here's why. Even though I said this is a cool finish, um, now actually he hasn't really gotten on yet, but I think I'm going to just surprise him with it, but um, <clears throat> here's the thing. I know, you know, he's my best friend pretty much, so I know him well enough to know his his taste, his color, you know, what he likes, and this black one here, the black mat, is a perfect, perfect one for him. This is absolutely perfect for him. Um, I really don't think he'd be too, I mean, he might, but Honestly, I think he'd be more fond of this one. Just knowing him, he'd be more into this one. This particular color here. Um, uh, a lot of his stuff is, you know, black. So, um, I think he'd like, I think he'd prefer the black one. Um, he already does own a Zippo, actually, but that's, he has, the, the one he owns is a souvenir. So, uh, I don't know. Just, just kind of wanted to do some, you know, because, you know, just felt like it. <laughs> so, that'll be a nice surprise for him. I'm going to tell him about it uh, whenever he gets on. Uh, whenever he gets on. So, anyway, if you get it in the blister packaging, this is what you're going to get. Alright? This, if you happen to, you know, be into collecting, but you, you have to resort to getting it in blister, you have to resort to getting a lighter in a blister packaging, this is what you're going to get. I'm pretty sure if it's not in blister packaging and you, it's just in there spinning display case, you're probably going to get the same exact stuff. This is just in a blister for shipping per shipping needs, shipping purposes. Uh, we got this at Walgreens for 15 bucks. Yes, $15 for this thing, which I think is awesome. Um, I think that's a steal uh, compared to other prices I've seen. So, well, without further ado, well, let's get into it. This is a close-up of the finish. It is actually brushed metal. Uh, I'm not... I, I, I do know about Zippos, they are, nowadays, modern ones are brass. They're made out of brass, but they're chrome-plated. Um, so I'm not really sure if, this is, if the actual metal on the outside is actually chrome or not, but I'm just going to call it brush metal. You know, makes sense. Now, I'm sure, I'm just going to do this just to be fair. This is a close-up on this finish. It's going to be hard to see through. Let me see if we can wipe the fingerprints off of the uh, blister here. Um... It's a matte finish, so it's quite a bit different. Um, so yeah, well, sorry about that um, interruption there. So yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. Uh, this is what the blister packaging looks like. It just says Zippo uh, genuine windproof lighter um, up here. Actually, this one I never noticed. Well. I did know about this, but I never noticed this particular mark on it. Lifetime guarantee, which I hear is an excellent guarantee. Because if you break your Zippo for, with any, um, if you break your Zippo, it doesn't matter how you broke it. You could have broken it just by an honest opening and it, you know, some just really weird happening, you know, maybe your let, lid fell off or something. Or you accidentally dropped it into a, um, you accidentally dropped it in a, uh, a, I don't even know what I'm thinking about. Um, you accidentally dropped it in a, you know, some sort. Yeah, you, you know, some sort. You got, maybe you were using it to light a fire and you burnt yourself, and you know the fire went up real quickly and you accidentally dropped. I don't know, some of that. It could be completely on accident or completely extreme, you know, type deal. They're, they'll still fix it for you, which is awesome, and it's and it's still free too. You're only paying to ship it to them, and they'll fix it for free and they'll ship it back to you for free. Um, which I think is awesome, so that's a pretty neat guarantee there. Um, hopefully I won't ever have to do that. So, anyway, yes. Um, on the back, you know, it shows all the stuff here, all the sort of stuff. Um, it tells you about their flints and their Zippo lighter fluids, so. Yeah. Alright, I've been dying to open this all friggin' day. Um, so we're gonna go and get into this. So. This is one of those annoying blisters where you can't just peel. You have to get into the lining. We'll just make this simple though. 
it would ultimately just slice through the instructions I might have. Uh, let's see. Alright, keep fingers away from cutting blade. Come on. Get in there. Alright. Hope I didn't just scrap the casing up. Probably didn't. Um. Might have cut up the uh, instructions in there, actually. You can see they're in there, literally. So, there's something to keep in mind. You might actually want to peel it up. Alright, come on. I'm just going to finish cutting it, though. Just because it's easier. Come on. There we are. And, in terms of the instructions, which might be a good thing to thumb through tonight, uh, they'll come out. Let's go ahead and take the uh, actual lighter itself out, set this off to the side. Oh! Uh, actually, this case here isn't really a real case. I don't know, we'll get into that later. Um, I am slightly disappointed by that casing, though. <laughs> Uh, the uh, display case. So, uh, thank you. Good grief. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about knocking the camera there. I hate blisters. I swear. Just trying to make things easier by cutting it, and yet I still have to tear up the packaging to get to the dang instruction manual. Alright. Good grief. This is like annoying. Huh, there we go. And the instruction manual is undamaged. Oh wait, this is an instruction. This looks like, oh yeah, it is right there. It's sort of instructions, but a nice little advertisement. I think I actually saw that on the website. Um, all that stuff, if you're interested in that. And some basic instructions on how to fill it. And presume, yeah, how to change out the flints and stuff. Uh, and there it shows. Oh, that's nice. All of the different um, components doesn't mention the cam though, which is interesting, but uh, rayon balls, flint, all that stuff. And of course, the lighter itself. And right here you got a nice thing made in USA, so we're going to take this out. Ooh! Ooh, look in here, right underneath it there's an advertisement. <sighs> Some people find that annoying actually. Anyway, it's just an, a pamphlet advertising the zipper blue removes. Yeah, you could kind of display it in this. It's not what I thought it was. It's I'm actually kind of glad now that um, I was actually was sort of considering opening up the other one for people who wanted to see that up close, but I'm not going to anymore because it doesn't include an actual case for it. So I want to give that to them wrapped up. But yeah, this is a blue. I'm not interested in the zip of blue at all. Really, I'm not. I want the traditional zip of lighter. So I have held these in person, but. It's kind of cool owning one now. They don't come filled. I should. I mean, you know, it might seem kind of obvious, but they don't. Uh, some sort of law. You can't ship them filled. So if you want to, if you want to, if you want to use it as an actual lighter, you're gonna need to buy the fluid. Um, this brings up to this brings me to an import uh, to a uh, to. I want to peel this off. Oh, there it goes. I want to peel it off from there. Oh, sticker residue, ew. I will be cleaning that up later. Um, I did actually recently, uh, I was watching some videos from Cutlery Lover on uh, Zippos. He says a good tip for removing stickers without getting all that residue is to use a hair dryer. But I didn't think it'd be necessary for this child's thing. Anyway, I'll get, I'll clean that up later. Ready? Well, that's good. Uh, come on. Oh well. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I some of you can't get it to click. Okay. Yay, it's got good pins. Uh if it's got a brass pins, I mean it's probably fake. Oop. And as you can see it's not filled, so but yeah, anyway, this is the the cam right here. That's what keeps tension on the uh on the actual lid to keep it shut. I mean I'll I'm pro I'm gonna make a video later on kind of going over what all
components are in the lighter. But, you know, that's what this little piece here is. You can fold up for some reason. That keeps it from closing. I actually think there is actually a specific pur purpose for that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, go ahead and take this out. Answer, maybe. Hmm. There. And here I'll show you what this looks like. This is where you you lift to fill right there, and this is where you lift it up, pour some lighter fluid in, um, and that's that. And then here is your actual case. As you can see in there, it is brass, but it's chrome plated. And uh, interesting tip I learned from Cutley Lever. Again, I'm kind of obsessed with his videos right now. You know, if you want to fill it, turn it like this and stick this upside down in the lighter to fill it. So that way the fluid won't drip all over your whatever surface you're filling over. It'll drip into the case and that will, you know, it'll all be contained in there. And then you can, because it's going to, the wick is going to get soaked up right there. There's the wick. Um, so when it's like this, you can quickly flip it over, get it back in there, and be off. I'm actually not sure I'm going to fill my zippos. I, again, I'm just into collecting them. I mean, I might fill this one, but we'll see. But, you know, generally the ones I just want to display and show will not be filled. I want to get that noise. I, I can't do it. And I can't flick it shut either, which is really annoying. Um, I need to practice. Uh, yeah. Uh, that sort of worked. There we go. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, so that's my sort of unboxing of a Zippo. Again, let me get you a good close-up on the finish. See so right there. Again, shiny chrome on the side. We do have some sticker residue. I will take care of that later on, with my, on my own time with some, maybe some rubbing alcohol or something. We'll see. And of course, I'm going to dry it all off because, I mean, you know, it's somewhat flammable, I think. So, don't worry there. Uh, oh, yeah, markings, important. There you guys can read all of that. Durf, let's see when this particular letter was made. It's got an L, which means it was made... Ooh, December. It's December right now. Uh, what was the year? Um, Bradford, Pennsylvania, made in USA. Oh, sweet. This was made this very month. This is brand spanking new. That's exciting. Let's check the insert. Come on. Er. Just check the insert to see what it was when it was made. Um. Keep away from children. Lighter does not self-extinguish. Close it to put it out. I don't know where the date markings on this are. Uh, it looks like an L and a 10, actually. Or that might be an I. So this is probably made in October, which is pretty cool, but, you know, it works. The flint is in there. You can, I mean, you know, I'm going to make a video on all this stuff, so that's just uh, me wanting to show you a zip lighter unboxing, so thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Um, some upcoming videos I actually have. While I'm actually got you guys' attention, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys this. Some up upcoming videos. Okay, so some upcoming videos I do have. Um, get all this stuff out of the way. Wrap quickly. Uh, I have a, um, several reviews. I do need to still do the review on the, uh, Belkin Grip View. Um, I'm planning on doing that this Friday. I want to have been I want to have used it for a full week before I do the review. Um, I've also got a, re a review that I still need to edit, um, but it's on the computer on this thing. And uh, this is actually a puzzle that I got for Christmas. It's a 3D Apple puzzle, and uh, I'll have a review on that. But you guys can see it's very nicely rendered, so I'll have a review on that soon. And I think that's it actually. I think there might be one more, but I'm not sure. Uh, but, anyway, those are some upcoming videos I have. Um, be on the lookout for those. But that is my unboxing of a Zippo. I really want to get into this one, but I'm going to keep it in the blister for my friend. Um, so, that's it. And, you know, if he wants a stainless steel version, I'll give him this one.
I'm still gonna get I'm still gonna give him a choice, but um I'm gonna tell him that I've already opened up the stainless steel one just because I was getting too impatient. <laughs> um but again <clears throat> this is more of his style. And I actually in the future I will get me one of these one of these kinds here, but this is what I have for now. And uh what oh, I can't flick it open one handed. I don't know. Still I'm still learning guys. Who knows? But I uh, you see I, I can't get that nice sound. Come on. Sort of. I don't know. Um, and anyway, I'm gonna go let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Adios.